In my own print-on-demand business, I typically like to be creating products at least two months in advance from the time that they actually need to be able to make sales. This just gives your products the most time to rank and it gives shoppers enough time to actually purchase items for events and trends that are a little bit down the road. So if you're in July right now and you are just now posting July designs, then you are already way behind. We are just now getting into the swing of summer, but believe it or not, it's already time to start thinking about back to school and fall style designs. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create five best selling print on demand products in that back to school fall niche. And today's video is kindly sponsored by Kittle. You guys know I love using them as my print on demand design suite. So I'm going to show you how you can make everything from a t-shirt design to mug design, notebook, throw blanket, stickers, and more on this one product. You really don't need a lot of tools to get going on print on demand. If you have one solid one, you can create so many different best selling designs and many different kinds of products. I will link Kittle down below if you do want to create an account with them, but let's head over to their platform now so we can get started with this. If you're not familiar with Kittle, they are an all-in-one design suite where you can create just about any type of thing to sell on print on demand, but where they really shine is with their templates. So even if you're not a great graphic designer, you can simply take one of their pre-made templates, change the words, the colors, add new elements, and you have a totally original design that literally just took you a few minutes to create. Kittle has recently also rolled out some amazing AI features where you can give Kittle prompts for what types of images you're looking for and they are going to create 100% original AI artwork that you are free to use in your own print on demand business. Kittle also has rolled out a new feature where you can actually create mock-ups of the designs that you create right on this platform. So it really is an all-in-one design suite that you can do everything for print on demand pretty much with this one tool. There are all sorts of mock-ups just from flat lays to actually ones with people in them. Really a very great tool. I can't recommend it enough. Now, before we start creating one of our first products on Kittle, first we are going to have to figure out what type of niche we are going to target within this back to school fall niche. So let's head over to another tool that I love, Sales Samurai, to do a little bit of niche research. Now I am on my Sales Samurai dashboard, which I will have Sales Samurai's information linked down below too with a discount code for you guys. But right away, I just went ahead and I looked up teacher gift because I know we're gonna be making some things for teachers in this back to school niche. And as you can see, the competition is just astronomical for something like this. So like I always say in your print on demand business, you are going to be more successful, make more sales and more profit in your business if you can actually niche down. Because in something like the keyword teacher gift, those designs that have been up for years that are really, really ranking well are taking up the majority of the clicks and the sales. So if you try to create a product that is just a generic teacher design, you are probably going to be on one of the last pages and nobody is even going to find your designs. So it's really, really important for you to niche down. So I have some ideas and we're gonna try to figure out what is a good niche for us to target. So the first thing that you can do is always just take the element that you have and make it a little bit more specific. So instead of teacher gift, we could do language arts teacher or history teacher or even music teacher. So let's actually search something like cute music teacher and see what it comes up with. All right, so I just search cute music teacher shirt because shirt is the first thing we're gonna create and let's see if it has decent competition that we would be able to actually stand out in and make a really good design. All right, so right away what I love on Sales Samurai is that if there is low enough competition, it's actually gonna give you a check here. So you'd only be competing with a little over a thousand other designs. So I think this music teacher niche we are going to do, and I know just the phrase that I think that I want to use. All right, and I am back on Kittle, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for my t-shirt design retro and see what we come up with because I want to use the phrase one groovy music teacher. That retro groovy aesthetic is still doing really well. So we're gonna capitalize on that in the music teacher niche and come up with something really cool in no time at all. So I'm taking a look at all of these designs to see if there's one that we really like. And right away, actually this one really sticks out. It has this heart with headphones going on. So we're gonna, use this design to create something that says one groovy music teacher. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the text here to say one groovy music teacher. All right, and I'm just gonna add the word one right here. 
All right, so I just changed the font and went ahead and rearranged that. Now, the next thing I want to do is on Kittle, a lot of this, these designs typically have texture on them. And if you're creating something for a t-shirt, you definitely want to get rid of that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and change the background color because I probably will put this on a white t-shirt. And then I want to experiment with changing some of the colors here. So I think I'm going to go with kind of like a turquoise type color. I think that would look really cool. And then I'm just going to change the color on all of the different lettering here. All right, and now I'm going to resize all of this just to make sure it takes up as much of the as much of the shirt surface area as possible. And that looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, changing it to pixels. And then I want to make sure that it's at least 300 DPI. So we're going to remove the background and then download that as a PNG. Now I've gone ahead and went over to Printify where I'm actually going to go ahead and upload the product so that you can see what it would look like in your actual listing. All right, once the position looks good, we can go over and preview it. All right, and that looks pretty good. And you can see what it would actually look like on a person here, which is super cool. Now that looks awesome. It definitely has that retro aesthetic we are going for. And I know this shirt will sell really well. All right, so for our next product, we are going to do some kind of sticker, which is a really trendy product. I sell so many stickers every single month and it's a really great back to school product. Now we're not just going to do a generic back to school design. I have an idea for a product and we are going to see how this does here when we look it up on Sales Samurai. So if we did something like a school sticker, that is going to have so many results. In fact, I'll just show you right now. So when we looked up school sticker, there are over 150,000 results. So that is going to be way too hard for us to compete in. But let's see if we can kind of niche that down and find something that's going to be a better fit that we can then make on Kittle. All right, so I looked up personalized name sticker for school. This is something that kids can put on their notebooks, on their personal belongings with their personalized name. Now, personalized items do super, super well, especially if you are selling on Etsy. So when I looked up personalized name sticker for school, the Etsy competition is a lot less. And the nice thing about personalized products is you actually can charge a little bit of a premium price, getting a few more dollars per item that you sell. So this is a great thing that you can create. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how on Kittle you could create a really great name sticker. All right, so back on Kittle, since this is going to be a kid style sticker, I'm just gonna go ahead and look up kids and see what that comes up with. But another thing that you could do is kids love really specific things. So you could do something with like construction equipment, do mermaid name stickers, you could do princess name stickers. The possibilities are really endless for something like this, but let's see what we have here here in kids designs. All right, actually this one here is sticking out to me. I think we could create a really cool kind of label sticker for kids using this, especially for like a little boy who loves dinosaurs. So let's see what we can do with this design. All right, so again, we're gonna go ahead and delete that texture there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put the background as white so we can see a little bit better what this sticker is going to look like. Now, right here is where I'm thinking that the personalized name is going to be. So I'm just going to use the name Landon. And so if you are selling on Etsy, integrated with a place like Printify, you want to save this design in Kittle so that when someone orders a personalized version, you just come in and you can simply change the name, re-download the artwork, and then use that. And then to keep things simple, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this right here and then you could even put like a little kid's birth year so maybe we do 2014 and in this section here you could really put anything you want fun but I might just put something like dino adventurer but you could definitely do something like in these name stickers you could write something like please return to or this belongs to so that people know that this is who this is for so all right this is already looking really good if we wanted, we could certainly go in here and just kind of change some of these elements. Maybe we want to delete those flowers and then we're going to look up dinosaur. So this is cute. I'm just going to change it to white and then put this right here. And then maybe we want to do another one down at the bottom. Again, we will change it to white. Actually, let's see. Maybe we want to do this guy down here also in that green color. All right, and then we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and download this making sure that it's in pixels, make sure it's 300 DPI or 5,000 by 5,000 pixels for a sticker. 
I'm going to remove the background and then download that as a PNG. Now I'm back on Printify so that you can see what this sticker is actually going to look like after I upload it. All right, so make sure that it's positioned well, but now when we go over to the preview, you can see what the sticker would actually look like. All right, so that looks really good as a sticker. I think this would just be perfect for a boy going back to school to put on all of his different belongings. All right, so the next product we're going to be creating with Kittle is actually going to be a mug. Now, when back to school comes around, the other thing that is always starting up again is going to be those sports or back to school sports. So a lot of times, just like with the big teacher niche, if you are just doing a generic sport, so say all of soccer, or even something a little more specific like Soccer Mom, that is just going to be way too saturated. All right, so I am going to look up the keyword Soccer Mom just to show you how much competition there is for something like that. All right, so there is a whopping almost 43,000 results for that on Etsy. So what I've talked about before is sometimes you can take kind of a best selling niche and then cross it with something else and you have a winning combination. So I am actually going to take both Soccer Mom and I'm gonna mix it with another sport like tennis so that you have like a soccer and tennis mom mug because tons of people have kids in multiple different sports. You could do something like this with dance. You could do something like this with gymnastics and soccer. The possibilities are really endless, but I'm gonna go ahead and look up soccer and tennis mom. All right, and the competition is way less here. So we're gonna head back over to Kittle and see what kind of templates we could use for something like this. All right, so I am back on Kittle and I'm just going to go ahead and look up soccer see what we can find for that because we can always modify it add new elements to make it be soccer and tennis All right that one is cool for maybe a mug for moms let's see here quite a few different options but I think that this one actually could work super well I could see us adding in kind of a tennis element too so we're gonna go ahead and use this design. All right, for this mug, before we do anything, we're gonna go ahead and resize it so it's actually the right size for a mug. So I'm gonna go over here to the settings and I am just going to put the size that Printify gives us when uploading products. All right, so I am changing it to 2475 by 1155 pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. Like we did in the last one, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that texture so that we can't see it here. And then I'm gonna change the background to white just because that is probably the mug color that I'm going to go with. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I am just going to copy and paste this to kind of duplicate it, but I'm actually going to go ahead and direction invert this, which is a really cool tool and put that right about there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move some of these elements here. I just think if we're also doing tennis, it's just gonna start looking a little bit cluttered. And now let's change this to say tennis. Now this, this looks really fun before, but since we are doing this new style, I'm gonna go ahead and just change it to regular mom right here. And then now what we need to look for is I wanna look for a tennis element. So let's see here. Okay, there's tennis rackets. I think I wanna use like a tennis ball just because that's what the soccer one has. So actually this one could work well. Let's try that here. I kind of want to make it relatively the same size as this other one and then position it kind of the same way. And then I'm just going to go ahead and send that to the back. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller for the mug. All right. And then on Kittle, I typically like to actually change the color a little bit when I'm doing these designs. So instead of this purple, I think I'm going to go for more of like a Orally color. I'm going to change all of those and then let's see how that looks here. All right, and then if you want it to be on both sides of the mug, not just one, you can copy this and then paste it, making sure it's aligned. All right, and then once you are satisfied, you are again just going to go ahead and download this one removing the background and then download as a PNG. All right, so we are back on Printify and I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this artwork so that we can see what it looks like here. And that looks super cute. You could definitely do the same thing with a bunch of different combinations of sports or different hobbies. All right, so back on Sale Samurai, and like I said before, when we looked up teacher gift, that was just so saturated. But I wanted to create some kind of notebook or journal for teachers because notebooks sell like crazy for me, especially around back to school time. So I kind of wanted to think of a more specific teacher niche that we could do. And the one that came to mind was actually 
a Montessori teacher. So there's tons of kids that go to Montessori preschools or kindergarten or even through elementary and high school, there's Montessori schools. And I have actually had a number of different products in that Montessori niche do really, really well for me. So let's take a look here and see what kind of competition we're looking at for a Montessori teacher gift. All right, so the Etsy competition seems pretty good. There definitely is search volume and click through for that, but not a ton of competition. So let's head back over to Kittle and create a really, really great notebook design. All right, so I am just going to start by searching the word teacher and then see what we come up with here. Right, actually, I really like this design. I think we could do something like Montessori teacher. Let's see what else is here. So many designs for teachers that you can just tweak or change the colors on. This could work well for Montessori teacher. Something like this too. I really like this design here, but I think I am actually just going to go with something a little bit more simple and do this right here. And this will just show you literally how fast you can make a design. And then you could just be done right there, but I find a lot of times that for like the Montessori niche, people like more of those brighter colors. So we are just gonna make this a little bit brighter here. All right, and again, we want to resize that, make sure it's the right size for the notebooks, especially on Printify. All right, and the size that they give us is 1810 by 2534. So I'm just gonna go ahead and resize this. And then since it's a notebook, we are going to be downloading it with the background. But let's see if there is maybe a different color that we prefer more, maybe a navy or something. All right, so again, we're gonna go ahead and download that. This time we're not going to remove the background, just download it as a PNG and let's head back over to Printify to upload that. All right, so we upload that here and you wanna make sure that the artwork is going to be in the middle of this area here because the spiral is going to go on the sides. Now let's look at the preview of what this is actually going to look like. That is super cute. I love how that turned out. Let's see what it looks like in this lifestyle. I know this will definitely sell really, really well. All right, so the next product I was thinking of making is actually going to be a throw blanket. So on Kittle, not only do you have the capability to do things on just like a t-shirt or a mug, you can actually make really cool patterns for much larger projects. This is not specifically just back to school, but it is kind of a late summer fall hobby or thing people like to do that I know is selling really, really well. So I I think we can create a really great product for this. And that is going to be something in that cabin niche, like people going up to their cabins or just kind of staying out in the woods. So let's look up cabin throw blanket and see what that comes up with. All right, so this has very good click-through rate and it has decently low competition. So this is a great design that we're gonna head over to Kittle to make a really cool pattern for. Now I'm back on Kittle and for a lot of those, because it saves so much time, I actually started with a template that I just adjusted and changed, which you could do for the same method, but I'm actually just gonna create a new project so that I can put my exact dimensions for a blanket that I want here. Now a blanket is pretty big pixel wise. So for Printify, the standard that they put was 9300 by 12300. So we're going to go ahead and create that. All right. So what I love to do with my patterns, it's a way to make them really, really quick for almost any niche is I'm going to go over here just to the elements and I'm going to start looking up thing, something like cabin and just start adding elements that I think would look good together. Doesn't really matter. You can always delete stuff later. Let's even look up camping because even this, though this isn't specifically camping, a lot of those kind of will cross over. See all these designs kind of with patterns, the more the merrier sometimes. Let's do that campfire, that cup, I like that bear, that wood is really nice. And let's look up some trees, that would look really nice in our pattern. It might feel like you're getting way too many things when you start doing this, but really, like I said, the more the merrier for something like this. All right, so now we have all of those elements and what we're gonna do is I just like to kind of make them a little bit smaller here, spread them out so we can see what we're working with. All right, and I am just gonna go ahead and change the background color a little bit to be more of this gray so we can still see these because I think I'm gonna do a color on the background and make all of the images white. So kind of a tip you can do if things, maybe you don't feel like they're the same art style, they don't exactly go together. What you can just do is make everything the same color and that really helps everything look very uniform, like it really goes together. All right, so I went ahead and I changed everything to white and then I made the background of this be this green color. Now, what you wanna start doing is you're just gonna start playing around and fill out this whole thing with all of the elements. 
Now it's not going to quite look like a pattern yet. That's going to come a little bit later, but first you want to create this initial part of the pattern. All right, so I'm playing around with it. I added some more trees. I added some other elements. I duplicated some things, but it really, it doesn't have to look perfect at this point. Now, this is where it starts to get really fun and interesting. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select everything here and you're going to group it together. Now, once you've done this, you're actually just going to take it and you're kind of gonna put it in one quarter of this design here. You can do a little bit less because you can fix it later. And then what you're gonna do, you wanna select it, you wanna copy and just paste another version of that. And then you're gonna do the same thing like two more times. You could even do it more if you would want the pattern to be smaller, but basically you are just creating that pattern and then this is going to become the throw blanket. All right, and then once you are satisfied, you're gonna go ahead and download that. And like with our last one, you don't want to actually remove the background, you're gonna download that. So once again, we are on Printify and we're gonna go ahead and upload that design so we can see what this is going to look like when we actually upload this product. All right, once you make sure that it's positioned correctly, you're gonna go ahead and you can preview it, see what it's going to look like. Then you can see what the blanket is actually going to look like on a real product, but that would be a great thing to have at a cabin when you go camping. And you can create all sorts of patterns like that on Kittle. More and more, Kittle is just becoming an all-in-one platform that you can literally do everything for your print-on-demand business on. So if you are gonna invest in a product, I would highly recommend Kittle. I will have all their information linked down below. They have both free plans as well as a paid one, which is one that I was using today. Definitely a super valuable tool for your business. And if you're looking for even more niches and ideas, make sure you watch this video next and I'll take you through even more.